They went to the matches last night, got a vibe for the uh, for the arena and the and the atmosphere, which was awesome. And I think we were anxious to kind of get into the gym and um, and uh, let some aggression out, let some let some energy out as we had an off day yesterday. So I thought it was good practice today. I thought everybody was intently kind of in on on uh, what we need to do to just be better for us. And again, not not much focus on another team, but focus on us and. Um, you know, excited to go watch the matches tonight and kind of continue to prep for whoever we find out to, that we play for tomorrow. Yeah, I think the big thing for us is, you know, as you're sitting there waiting, you've got to kind of manage the, whether it's the jitters or the expectations, and you've got to kind of be, we've got to be ready for, you know, point one of, of that match. You know, we're going to be going into whomever we play is going to have played a little bit before, and so we've got to be able to take a deep breath and be patient, but at the same time be ready to go right from the get-go. Uh, because our first few points in the MAC tournament will be somebody else's uh, possible first or second match, or second or third match kind of in, in the tournament. So that's something that we want to be ready to ready right out of the gates. Uh, it's, it's a hard uh, scenario to kind of put yourself in and kind of reenact in a practice environment, but it's definitely something that we're working towards. So uh, I think tonight, tonight's match between, uh, between Bowling Green and Buffalo, I think it'll give us a lot more clarity as who yeah. we're preparing for. And, um, you know, I think that both teams are really good. I think we're really good, and I think it'll give us an opportunity to kind of put a little bit more uh, of a scouting report in front of the team so that we can have some visualization of what we need to do to be successful. Hey,